So if you take a little fistful size of worm castings, if you come over here and you put it in here, you'll see it quite quickly. My recommendation would be to pull it down like this. That keeps your bag up suspended, being bounced around. But the nice thing is, even if you do it down, even if you dropped it in there, because we have that cap, you cannot plug on it when it goes to drain. But by and large, it would normally be better if you kept it suspended, right? That's why I like the bucket in a bucket. This bucket would be five gallons, one on the inside would only be four and a half gallons. It would have holes drilled across, such that when it drained, it would go flat, and then when it filled up, it would totally melt the pocket, right? But notice, that's your second batch out of that bag. You're still the deep, rich chocolate brown, right? Now if you do this, this is like making coffee. You're percolating it. You're washing out of the coffee bean all the coffee into your coffee water. Or a tea bag, you're washing the tea out of the leaf into the water. What Robert does in a 55 gallon drum out there is drilling where you're breeding the bacteria in a closed environment, feed it molasses, and you breed it until that water is thicker. And they can measure that with a viscosity meter. It gets to be like gravy. I prefer to measure with a bricks tester. That measures that the molasses is gone. If I put two cups of molasses in 50 gallons of water, three weeks from now, I will still have two cups of molasses in 50 gallons of water. But if I put this bag of worm castings in there, tomorrow morning I'll have no sugar. What happened to it? Did the bacteria ate it. So by using the brick tester, you can measure your population density. Yeah. You know, it would be like you had a closed room and threw chicken food out there. Three weeks now, they still have chicken food. You leave the door open, you come out in the morning, the chicken can come in, you can all the food or the mice or whatever else. You, know, you have evidence of life. Something more stays there. It ain't there no more. But where you could send somebody a kit, you can mail them this bat, this jar, and that fitting tell all of our clients, simply remove the little poo-poo piece, you know, the little, this little piece, right? You say, go out to your garden, pull this off, set the jar there, make some tea, do it once a week. Now this is not quite the brewing like what we're doing in our 55 gallon drum, but on a system this small, it's pretty close to it, right? Because you're in a closed loop system, right? But out there where you've got 3,600 gallons, you're better to make 50 gallons and then dump it in. But watch this, guys. When you make beer or wine, you do not take the little thing of brewer sheets, walk over, and pour it into a swimming pool sized vat of beer. You won't get anything. It will spread out so thin, it will not breathe. You take the little brewer yeast and you put it into one quart. In so many hours, they dump it into a gallon. In so many gallon hours, they dump it into 55 gallons. Then the 55 gallon, they dump into 500 gallons. And then they open up the bath and they make the 1,500 gallons of beer. You've got to breed up the population. Right? If we take a tablespoon of yogurt, we found if we put it into a gallon of milk, <coughs> we get yogurt. If I put it into 20 gallons of milk, I get nothing. Okay? Except that, if I make a little puddle in the in the in the milk in the container, put a floating container, put the yogurt in there where it can go out the hole, it will breed in that container and move out. But you gotta have a dating circle. Like going to a dance. It has to be a certain mix. Okay? If the if the dance hall's too big, nobody dances. You ever notice nightclubs how they they squeeze us all together? There's a chemistry to that. You have a small dance floor, everybody dances. If only eight people were dancing, it still looks like everybody's dancing. <coughs> yeah, it's amazing. You have a great big dance floor, like a basketball court, nothing happens. No excuse to stay close, just dance tight, no, no sense in the end of the Okay?